Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Can you hear? Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Peeswar. Okay. So, uh, you are. Uh, what is your year? In which year are you studying in? Ma'am, currently I am doing my third year from C S C department. Okay. Please interact. Don't ask ma'am to question. You talk about also. Okay. So please introduce yourself. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. First of all, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Peeush Patil, and I'm currently pursuing my B.Tech in Delhi Institute of Engineering Technology, uh, third year, and I was born born and brought up for, in Vishakhapatnam. Uh, Uh, and my coming to my technical skills, I'm good at C, Java, and DBMS. Uh, and uh, show in case showcasing my interests, I'm uh, I like to travel to new places, and I like to uh, listen to the music. And coming to the internship and certification details, I'm uh, I have also certified in uh, from Amazon Web Services in various internships like uh, AI and machine learning. And I also certified uh, in step test course, uh, which is a part of our English lab. Uh, coming to my interest, I am uh, very interested to learn new things and very enthusiastic to learn and explore things. Okay, so uh, what if had it not been computer science, what other career you would have chosen? Uh, this uh, in spite of this, I would choose I would choose in hotel management because. I'm very uh, enthusiastic to take up the hotel management and to travel to new places and to and uh, especially in spite of that, uh, I also uh, want to uh, learn the things and to meet new uh, new uh, new people and places. And I think the hotel management uh, will give the, a lot of opportunities. Okay. So, what is your career objective? my career objective is that uh, first of all i want to place in a, a good good mnc company with a high package and uh, 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 seeking the good package is that uh, i can uh, showcase my skills and i can uh, 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 i can showcase my skills and i will put my all my efforts to uh, fulfill that uh, partic given particular task or any particular uh, position and i want to uh, showcase all my skills and put my all my efforts to uh, the, to the given role okay so okay so thank you basically actually you know when we talk about career objective it has to be very specific okay and uh, you have to focus on what should be your objective and with a reason to why you need the job right so uh, that is what is important and uh, when you are asked to introduce yourself so you should basically focus more on the knowledge and skills that you have rather than telling about your family because that doesn't take the interest of the interviewer in any case you were very good and a wonderful job all the very best for your future thank you thank you Good afternoon, madam. Myself, afternoon. myself, I'm Yami. I'm currently pursuing my B.Tech in Delhi Institute of Engineering and Technology, and I am very hard to learner. As I am my strength, sir, I'm very enthusiastic to learning new things and exploring and traveling. And um, my short cut um goal is to get a to be placed in a reputed company, and this makes me a lot of interest. What type of company would you like to work on? Presently, as I'm a student, I'm I'm interested to take an a product based company. After that, I will. apply my knowledge and skills to get an a company in an amazon amazon okay so what is your idea about uh, team building 
team building is not uh, is about only the, uh, converging my thoughts and our experiences and uh, interacting with others so that we uh, when we are in team and the team we can build our to through complete the project so that team will will works on uh, taking their uh, ideas to build something what if you don't have the team which goes with you that is you have a team when all are different uh, in their attitudes different uh, in their way of dealing things what do you do then then as i am a positive mindset i will go to them and i will interact with them as i can i will manage everything so i will easily interact with them so even their mindsets are different from mine i will think they from their perspective and you will leave your perspective no even even though i am taking their perspective i manage both sides okay how important is feedback for you okay feedback is very important to know what's the our negativity and our positivity towards our work by taking feedback we can easily know what's the wrong in that so we can uh, reconvert reframe our work okay so thanks uh, you have done a good job all the very best thank you very good afternoon ma'am uh, first of all thank you for the giving this opportunity for introducing myself i am bhagyashree in our indian institute of technology in third year B uh, csc uh, my technical skills are java c uh, S sql database and my hobbies are uh, dancing and reading books and uh, etc what kind of books do you read books ma'am uh, novels uh, tell me something about the latest novel that you read okay no problem so first of all you have you know this is something which we have to all of uh, you know have to be a little careful about though you are very sweet and you know you started it well but uh, i haven't asked you to introduce yourself so take you know you have to wait for the interviewer to see what is he interested in okay audience analysis okay. is something very important and when you talk about the novels okay something which is not uh, you know something out of the box so be sure of what novel you are talking talking about right so that will give you more value addition to your cv that is yes you read about books and you can review about books and all right okay uh, so okay so uh, what is your favorite subject subject ma'am uh, uh, python c okay so what did you learn so i don't know anything about python now okay. in a layman's words how will you explain python uh, it's very easy to understand and uh, uh, and understand and uh, program writing is very easy and uh, develop uh, one project uh, project python is very easy to uh, give the project okay so what is your strength strength ma'am uh, my patience and uh, confidence and uh, speaking uh, uh, public speaking and uh, it's my confidence ma'am and what is your weakness weakness or uh, nervousness in uh, front of camera and uh, speaking towards uh, any ma uh, any member and confidence it's losing my confidence and the uh... okay but your university your college is doing a lot for this i think you should take maximum opportunity of this and should be quite uh, you know out of the sphere factor anyway thank you so much thank all you. the very best thank you
Hi, ma'am. A very good, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. How are you doing? Good, ma'am. What about you? I'm also good. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, do you know something about artificial intelligence? Yes, ma'am. Artificial intelligence, sir. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like, do you use mobile phone? Yes, ma'am. So, that's a smartphone? Yes, ma'am. So, you are using the WhatsApp and Twitter and... Uh, Insta, isn't it? WhatsApp, Instagram. Okay, so are they a part of artificial intelligence? Yes, no, it's uh, artificial intelligence. So can it replace it's human intelligence? Oh, yes, yeah. It'll it's replace. Based, it's based on the human intelligence also. Okay, so uh, someday it will be so that uh, it is only everything is working through artificial intelligence. And human intelligence is not working. Will it happen like this? Artificial intelligence is all, also human intelligence. So also. Okay. So what do you think after four years from now? Where will you be? Mm, to doing a best job in a best MNC company for software. In a software company? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. All the very best. Good afternoon, madam. I am I am Mohammed Sayed Silar Akbar, studying in Lenny Institute of Engineering Technology in, in Computer Science. Here. And I also completed my diploma in Arvadas Polytechnic uh, in Electrical and Electronics Department. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what do you like about Computer Science? Madam? What do you like about Computer Science? Uh, what do I like? Nothing much like it, madam. I just <laughs> come from Tripoli background. It is a difficult task. That's why I choose to computer science, ma'am. <laughs> so, okay. So, in case uh, you don't get a job in computer science, what will you do? I I am not interested in most of in computer science job. Ma I would like to join an electrical company because i uh, i think that i am most suitable for that thing also but i think that uh, studying in electrical engineering is somewhat of difficult to me so uh, you are are you doing a dual degree uh, no ma'am uh, i have a diploma in uh, electrical and electronics and uh, btech in in uh, computer science so your diploma will work well rather than your degree uh, yes ma'am so you are open whether electrical if I get a job, chalega. If it is yeah, computer nature. science, chalega. Chalega. Koi bhi chalega. Kaise milne chahiye hai na? Anyways, so uh, what all? What uh, beyond your studies? What is what do you do as a pastime? Uh, as a pastime, I do some editing, ma'am. Some editing. Editing as in the video editing. Editing. Uh, yes, ma'am. Video editing, uh, banner editing, like that. Uh, and uh, and sometimes I, sp I spend my in gaming. gaming. PUBG and all? PUBG, not like PUBG. But I play PUBG also, but I, I spend with some games, online games with my friends. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what do you think that after four years from now, where will you be? How do you see yourself? I want to see in your position that four years after me. I want to see in a better position. Now I am in a not in good position, but I want to see myself in a good position and a better job. Whether in electrical or computer? 
बहुत कुछ भी चलेगा ओके ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट बट वन थिंग जस्ट एज अजेशन दैट इज बी फोकस्ड Ah, okay, okay like you just find out that what is your interest actually you know it cannot be chalega sort of a thing because, i am also uh, looking for that madam but i am <laughs> not getting my answers anywhere i trying from so how many so, years what yeah, i want to do yeah exactly so what you do i'll give you a tip today when you go home you write down in a paper yeah. what is your interest in which all things you are interested in okay and which all things you are just doing because for the sake of doing you do are not interested what you are doing so then in a way you will get an answer as to what you want to do basically okay ma'am i will do it definitely <laughs> and i use this tip and i okay. think i get my answer ma'am yes thank you all the best thank you ma'am Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Fine. So, what did you eat today? Yes, ma'am. You didn't eat? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Some meat. Well, so, what did you eat? I have, I have eaten. <laughs> so, you had your lunch? Yeah, yes, ma'am. I have lunch. Okay. So, what is your interest? What is your area of interest? I'm interested in software engineering directly. What do you understand by software engineering? I like to coding very well. Coding. So, have you done some coding uh, practices? Yes. Or are you doing? Yes, ma'am. As I do in the C Java, which is like very well. Which is a better language, Java or uh, Python? Java. Why? Because you like it. Java is a usually friendly platform. Ma'am. It's more is applications. More uh, platforms the applications developed in the Java. Ma'am. Okay. So, uh, supposing your company is in need of funds, sometimes, what will you do to raise funds? I for okay, I got. this funds of the so uh, funds uh, fund raising activity is again a kind of a very important activity in these corporates these days so yes. um, do you uh, do you, can do you have any idea that how to raise funds serve the good net company yeah you will serve the company but i'm saying sometimes you know you have to raise funds every company has a uh, something to do with corporate social responsibility do you know about that csr so what is that csr activity okay that every organization has a csr activity some percentage of their entire pro like from the whatever their investment or profit is they give it for the development of some social social services they do okay so for that sometimes they they don't take money as such it's a, they give free training sometimes there are variety of activities they go for slum education and all okay so uh, this is how and so sometimes you have to raise funds also for that that is some slum education is being done you have to raise funds so there are you know every organization has certain norms through that that is how do you raise funds to uh, you know okay so whenever you are going for this kind of an interview first understand about the organization that what is the working of the organization uh, if you are facing campus interviews so definitely you have to know about the organization as well right sure okay thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> Good 
Good afternoon. Introduce yourself in five sentences. Yes, ma'am. I am Monica from CSC from Delhi Institute of Engineering and Technology. Has I completed my diploma in Ahmedabad Polytechnic from CSC. And uh, coming to my students, I'm self motivated. Coming to my weakness, I'm I'm a little bit nervous to speak in front of the cameras. Uh, some of them I get overcome by the worries, but I feel most of it in convenience in front of the camera. Um, I have some uh, I have to do that. So, which is the best uh, thing that you liked? Have you done some courses on Intanshala as well? Yes, I have done some. What are the courses? I'm sure my service is made of this. So, what is your interest? In which area your interest? Uh, is it ethical hacking? Is it uh, uh, cyber security? Or what is it? Okay. So, uh, like in what, which company do you prefer to work in? I want to work in this company, which is, which is very good, which is a very reputed uh, company. And then I want to improve my skills. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much and all the very best. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, how are you doing? Fine, ma'am. I'm doing well, ma'am. That's wonderful. Okay. So, uh, you put an adjective before your name to describe your personality. Yes, ma'am. Uh, coming to my intro, uh, I'm Shri Devi and I'm from Vizanagara and I'm currently pursuing my graduation at Lendi Institute of Engineering and Technology in the third year of CSE background. And uh, I'm very much interested to learn new things. And I'm very passionate about uh, learning and coding real life problems. So, uh, echo, and I'm very much interested to travel various places, uh, my, mostly of the North, Indi North, North India states. I have no languages like Telugu, Hindi, and English. I can manage Hindi a little bit. So, uh, uh, and coming to my technical skills, uh, I'm very much familiar with C, Java, Python, and the data structures. And the, my career objective is to be placed at responsible position in any company where I, I can utilize all my skills for the growth of the organization. Mm, okay. But uh, uh, you didn't answer my question. I asked, I didn't ask for a full intro. I just asked for to add an adjective in front of your name, which would, uh, you know, say your personality. Say, for example, I'm Swam Prabha. So I will say I am simple Swam Prabha. So that means I believe in simplicity. Yes, Similarly, uh, put an adjective in front of your name. Yes, ma'am. I believe in mythological aspects, ma'am. Like, I mostly believe in uh, not luck, but also hard work. Okay. So, how much time do you study? Uh, 
per day i study like one hour it takes one to one and a half hour ma'am supposing you take a glass a glass is half filled with water yes ma'am and i show it to you what do you say yeah it's half filled means the uh, it's incomplete it's incomplete but complete within itself <coughs> means the glass has water yes ma'am the glass has water but it's incomplete but that much of water can helps anyone to drink to drink yeah so your perspective should be more on the positive side isn't it yes ma'am yes ma'am okay that much of water can help to you make another yeah. person drink yeah so when i place a glass of water which is half filled with water and it is half empty so i am asking if you see a glass like that what do you what comes to your mind what is your instant reaction when you see such a glass uh at that time i'll drink it ma'am <laughs> without any hesitation i'll take and drink it okay i was asking about your perspective I, that is when you see a glass half empty or half full it's not about your drinking but how do you look at it that is whether the glass is half empty or no. you will say that the glass is half filled half filled ma'am okay so that you know what is the psychology says there that is a person who sees with the fulfillment of this thoughts so that itself gives you a sort of a positive mindset okay yes, so uh, what is your preference of organization where you would like to work and why yes ma'am uh, i would like to work in the organizations like uh, it encourages me a lot to to improve my skills ma'am uh, the organization must encourage me to utilize my skills how do you know before joining an organization that it will encourage you to utilize your skills because you are working for them so they will be utilizing your skills is it yes ma'am they'll train me before joining into any organization they'll train me in that way ma'am uh, they push me into the one of the project so you know what is going to happen in the organization is it after you go ah uh, yes ma'am <laughs> i know little bit uh, because my sister is working as a software engineer okay, uh, okay. she is working from home so i know little bit about it okay okay very good all the very best god bless you thank you ma'am Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Nice, ma'am. What about you, ma'am? I'm also doing good. So, just uh, what is the color of the window uh, screen at the back of you, without seeing you? Tell. Pink color. Okay, so perhaps you're sitting in that class every day, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, when do we have to introduce ourselves? what is the most important thing that one should introduce on uh we need to focus more on uh, our skills ma'am okay so tell me something about your skills ma'am mm -hmm. tell me something about your skills yes, what, what all have you learned uh, in uh, say in computer languages or what is your interest in computer subject which is the area that you like most yes ma'am uh, uh, i i choose csc background to know about more unknown things that like uh, in my childhood uh, there is a phone call ma'am someone calling us there is no connection between the two mobiles but how they are communicating i don't i want to understand more about it. so i choose a, a csc background and i am more interested in hacking uh, i have a long way i have good skills in c java python database and other things 
ओके सो व्हाट डू यू डू इन योर पास टाइम मैम लाइक व्हेन यू आर फ्री व्हाट डू यू डू देन आई एम फ्रॉम द चाइल्डहुड आई एम अ गुड प्लेयर मैं कबड्डी प्लेयर सो आई नीड फोकस ऑन कबड्डी आई प्लेड इन स्टेट्स आल्सो ओके वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस so that's something very good actually one should have when you are you know particularly when you are getting ready for interview some extra curricular is also important yes ma'am so yeah so that's something very good so all the very best god bless you thank you ma'am thank you Hello, my good morning. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. How are you doing? Yes, my mom doing well. Okay, so tell me something about yourself. Myself, hi, I am. I am from Vijayanagaram. I am currently processing my B Tech degree. So, I am a person who is very interested in coding, and I was, I am interested in coding and. I usually play. I usually play chess, and my family supports me all the time, uh, and they encourages me every time for my success. So, supposing I ask you that if the present day youth more confident or confused, what do you think about it? This uh, time, uh, many of the youth are. confused because they don't know what they have to choose coming to that profession because they feel they want to go into some some kind of field but due to pressures parents pressure or society's pressure they have to change their mindset and they have to choose another one uh, they they get they are getting the compromise about their dreams and of course uh, you want to settle in their life without uh, without doing any hard work uh, like uh, few people want to settle in their life without in, in early time without doing hard work so this is uh, highly impossible they don't know this is impossible so what is more important hard work or smart work Yes, uh, both are important. In few cases, if if we have less time and uh, there uh, we need smart work because nowadays uh, time is very crucial. So uh, I think smart work is very much needed than hard work. Of course, hard work is also needed, but along with that, uh, we need more smart smart. Okay good all the very best thank you good afternoon ma'am i am patwari vashini and i am currently pursuing my btech third year in the new institute of engineering and technology my specialization is in computer science and i have done various internships to improve my skills like i am interested in cloud to know about that i have done aws cloud virtual internship and i am a fast learner too if any new things that are attracting me then i am very much passionate to learn those things very quickly that's it uh, yes. what are the extra curricular activities that you have as i told that uh, i am a quick learner ma'am and uh, uh, i i am interested in to learn uh, to solve the real life code problems ma'am real life problems to solve solve ma'am what kind of problems like any uh, question uh, uh, issues uh, that uh, real life problems uh, which were not uh, uh, answered uh, that is any question so in case then in that case why did you choose computer science you could have chosen sociology or psychology how yes. how a csc student uh, has a thought of you know 
so like uh, solving the social problems so how do you justify your course uh, i am not saying that uh, i am interested in so to solve the social problems ma'am as well as i am interested in coding part uh, that uh, to solve the real life problems in coding coding part way and uh, as i am a good communicator and uh, i can communicate the people well with my words uh, whatever i want to say or whatever i want to speak in front of them that i can say that uh, i can communicate them very well ma'am okay so what do you feel ki which is a better way of working smart work or hard work both i'll uh, choose ma'am because hard work uh, and uh, smart work both are important sometimes in some situations uh, hard work uh, uh, matters much and uh, in some situations like uh, whenever there is a time period uh, then we should uh, uh, use the smart work uh, with our uh, intellectual things uh, that uh, according to that problem and situation that uh, we should use the work ma'am so mainly i choose the both whenever it uh, needs that should be Im- implemented ma'am okay good all the very best thank you thank you ma'am Good evening, ma'am. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. So, introduce yourself. Myself, Harish, ma'am. I completed my schooling from Shilamati Godavari Devi Saraf High School. And present, I'm studying in Lindy Institute of Engineering and Technology in the branch of CSA. CSA. And my hobbies are traveling, dancing, watching movies. And I'm... I completed my internships in cyber security and cloud foundation in architecture. My strength is I can flexible to what extent I want. My weakness is stays with your present. I'm working on it. Thank. You. Okay. So, how do you uh, see yourself from five years from now? Ma'am, I want to place in a big multinational company. I want to be in a big position. What For big the- position in another five years? team leader hr to be the hr so yes. then in that case you have to do an mba in hr and we feel that will not uh, lead you to an hr position because they you know it's basically human resources so they will not uh, need computer science students as hr so they will need a student with an mba and uh, with a specialization in human resource management yes. so you'll be doing after this yes ma'am okay so why did you choose computer science why not any other subject ma'am i was from i was interested in coding to go code. and now your interest went on to uh, hr ma'am step by step a in from starting to finish everybody will not be in one step we increase that will increase so but i feel uh, it is not increasing in the area that you have chosen to study no it is totally deviating from the area that you have chosen to study the so high about changing the uh, line no i if uh, any financial issues occur i do this is often i should see financial issues on financial issues on whom if my father can't afford acha okay okay then i'll do in this field software engineer and i'll increase step by step then you will increase the funds and then get it to mba hr then where to what you do Ma'am, first I will first I will be the employee in the company, right? So basically, with my communication skills, team management, managing the team, and they go increasing my position to team lead. So you have already steps uh, sorted for you, huh? This is how you are going to do it. What will happen? Okay. So all the very best. God bless you. 
Thank you. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so uh, tell me something like, you know, everybody is after computer science and everybody is uh, learning more into artificial intelligence. So will artificial intelligence ever replace human intelligence? Yeah, ma'am, uh, it replaces it maybe in future and it will be in demand uh, in coming generations. As uh, every um, organization is aiming to be uh, take the manual things to become to a man automations, so the human intelligence may have decreased day by day as the automations work efficient than the humans. And yeah, uh, humans create them, but it makes a further development for them. So I think it will take place in short time. Now. So then why are you reading computer science? What do you do? Automation will do everything. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we make the uh, organizations to the, they do the work in automation, ma'am. Like, uh, if we uh, teach them how to do that, they can do the work efficiently and we can uh, do the same work in the other times. So, we can complete parallel works in the two parallel times, ma'am. So, it may help the organizations to increase the much more uh, profits and benefits. Okay. So, what is your career objective? Ma'am, ma'am. Uh, like, uh, want to become a person who can uh, afford the things he want to buy in his uh, life and lead a an happy life without any problems. That's it. So that means a lot of money is required. No, ma'am. Not a lot of money. The money which I need to fulfill my dreams and my happiness. So is uh, will that be your career objective? Uh, not like a career objective, but... Uh, the uh, the work I do is to as the, that is that is basically your aspiration. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but your career objective will be very specific to the uh, you know job that you are going to do, right? Yeah, okay, so I think there's a part that there, right? Yes, I'm ready to get my job skills to uh, explore my skills towards the companies and the diversity to the organizations. Okay, all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And how many of you are left? Actually, I have a meeting at three. So, can I just talk to the madam who is there uh, with you? Is she there? Yes, ma'am. Oh, madam is here. Okay, inform her. Yeah, just a moment. Uh, regarding the people reminding me, I'm as a meeting. So, she's going to talk to you. Hello, ma'am. Uh, hello, ma'am. Actually, uh, how many students more are there? I have a meeting at three o'clock. So, uh, can I get over by three? Uh, th there are ten. How many are done with ma? Seven, huh? Seven. Huh? So, uh, ma'am, there are uh, twelve more students, ma'am. If you can finish it off, it will be over, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Thank sure, you so much. Thank you. Okay. Ma, make a move fast. Ma'am is waiting. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, tell me something about yourself. Yes, ma'am. Firstly, I'm thankful for and grateful for meeting you, and it's my pleasure. And my name is Nihalka Fengupti, and I'm from Vijayanagaram. I'm currently pursuing my uh, bachelor's in the field of computer science in language Institute of Engineering and Technology. And when it comes to my technical skills, I am familiar with uh, languages like C, Java, and Python. And also, I'm familiar with web technologies. And uh, when it comes to my soft skills, I am a, mm, I have leadership qualities, and also I'm a team worker. Uh, I can easily blend and uh, work with uh, any group, and I'm easily adapt to the changes of new environment. And that's it now. Okay, so uh, what do you think that soft skills is better or hard skills is better? Uh, each have their own importance, ma'am. If uh, even if I wanted to be a software developer, 
I need to have soft skills in order to interact with officials or developers with other uh, peoples in the organization. Even uh, if hard skills are uh, main uh, place major role in the placement sector, but we need to have soft skills in order to interact with other people. Okay, uh, so uh, where do you see yourself from five years from now? Actually, ma'am, I have two goals, like uh, one short-term goal and one long-term goal. My short-term goal is to just secure a job quickly and any job it might be like in software developer or web developer, that might be anything. My long-term goal is to become an uh, uh, IS officer. I, I like to crack uh, the civil service examination. So if, uh, if I were to see myself in five years, I'd like to be an IS officer. Okay, God bless you all the very best. Thank you. Okay, so next candidate, please. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Hello, good day, madam. Good day to you as well. So, ma uh, uh, oh, oh, sorry, ma'am. Yeah, am I audible? Uh, yes, ma'am, you are audible. Okay. So, uh, tell me something like, uh, you know, what is your understanding about artificial intelligence? My understanding about artificial intelligence is uh, nowadays world is moving towards artificial intelligence. Like, uh, mostly people are working in a such a way that they don't want to work at some point of time. They want the they want that the missions to be so much automated that they know they don't need to work at all. Nowadays they're working so hard to they don't want to work at all. So are you relating your situation to that that because you are forced to study a lot, so now you don't want to study at all? Uh, Is no, it a relative situation? No ma'am. Um, basically I'm interested in uh, such an artificial incident such that which will lead to a good cause. Like, uh, uh, according to my point of view, we should not completely depend up, dependent upon the artificial intelligence. We need to develop that in such a way that it gives a lot of information and analysis about a particular problem, how to solve that problem efficiently. And that problem needs to be solved by us. The artificial intelligence should not be in such a way that it will only solve the problem. Okay. So, uh, what do you prefer, smart work or hard work? I prefer both, ma'am. Doing the doing the right work in right time gives you a success. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, how do you see yourself from five years from now? From five years from now, I have no idea, ma'am. I have no idea from my even from tomorrow also. Uh, for every day, I think that I have to be better better version of myself from the previous day. Okay, wonderful. God bless you. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. It's nice speaking to you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Sadia. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Good afternoon. So, how are you doing? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. So tell me something. Why did you choose computer science as a career? Why not anything else? Please. I'm saying why did you choose computer science as your uh, choice of subject or choice of a career? You could have. Why did you choose something else? Sorry. Software in technically, technically skilled. Okay, so you wanted to do some technical education. Okay, so uh, yes. like see, uh -huh. yes. What do you want to do for the society? Being a computer science engineer. What will be your contribution to the society? I have what do you do in your pastime? When you don't have anything to do, what do you do? 
in your free time what do you do nothing so okay thank you so much so please ask the next candidate to come Hi ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So how are you doing? I am good ma'am. Okay, so introduce yourself briefly. My name is Jashwant Kumar ma'am. And I am from Bombay. I am studying I am pursuing my BTech in department of computer science and engineering. And my 10th my inter inter complete in CS junior college. and my ssc complete in abidaya high school bobbil okay so uh, if not in computer science what are the subject you would have chosen ma'am what supposing you didn't uh, you what would be the other career choice apart from computer science or what do you like about computer science Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm, okay. Anyways, so you have to improve a little bit. Okay. So how will you improve? Is you know practice speaking. Your university is doing a lot of work. So you just because basically interviews for the first time they just see your communication skills and then they go on to the technical skills. So how will you improve on that? Is just practice more and more of speaking classes, right? So, anyways, thank you. So, okay, send the next candidate. Hello, am I audible? Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so tell me what uh, what do you are. Uh, so tell me something about yourself. Myself, Papatna. I'm from Zalara. Currently studying third year B.Tech in the branch of Computer Science and Engineering. I completed my schooling in Edmund Moore School and I completed my intermediate in Edmund Moore School and Junior College. I'm good at C Python. I have done my internship in Cyber Security. I'm coming to my strengths: my self confidence and self respect are the two major roles to build myself very strong. I collaborate with friends. We can friendly manner. I day 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 by day upgrade myself with a fresh mind and looking forward for a challenging life. Okay, so like what about uh, your uh, you know uh, you said your weaknesses are what are your weaknesses? Nervous. Yes. Little bit nervous. But अच्छा you are a bit nervous nervousness everybody has no so what have you thought that how will you drive out your nervousness have you any uh, plan that how uh, this is how I will make some effort in removing my nervousness I'm more focused on what I think okay so it's not about focusing it's about practicing because each time you start practicing to speak more and speak among your friends you can always make a group of your friends and you know each of you can listen to each other because apart from your technical knowledge now the knowledge of communicating rightly and effectively is more important right so okay all the best and uh, so next candidate please thank you
good afternoon ma'am uh, good afternoon uh, so how are you doing i'm good ma'am how are you ma'am i'm also good so what are the challenges uh, you face while you are studying computer science or when you see the present day scenario and you are studying computer science so do you find any challenges out there yes ma'am uh, though i am a though i am computer science student i have faced problems like uh, programming skills ma'am in that uh, it bit more complex to understand some uh, syntaxes and it uh, and 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 knowing some and knowing some new technologies like uh, javascript and more uh, more programming technologies ma'am that is more challenge to me okay so uh, have you done your project somewhere have you start done some projects no ma'am uh, it may start from 3 to ma'am now i am 3 1 ma'am okay okay so you have done some internship also oh yes ma'am uh, aws and artificial where did you do your internship in ma'am where which place have you done your inter internship and which organization college ma'am in college the icd organization okay okay so thank you we'll have the next candidate god bless you thank you ma'am Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm well, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, uh, tell me, uh, like you know, what is the best thing you like about computer science? Uh, best thing uh, that discovering the new things or developing the uh, developing the things or applications well and well useful to the people. And, uh, I was interested in the networking sectors, how the information is traveled from one one place to another place without only the only only the help of internet. So I'm very excited to, to know about. Okay, so uh, what do you think? Is the present day youth more confused or confident? And if uh, so, why? Uh, sorry, I can't get you. I said that is the present day youth more confident or confused? A uh, little bit uh, confused now. So. so uh, supposing you get a job in, uh, say, at Infosys, okay? So what will be your contribution to the company organization? I would like to. How will you contribute to your organization? I would like to uh, complete my work in time and uh, I would like to manage the time and to uh, uh, complete my work and hand over them. So that's, that is what you will do for yourself. But uh, your contribution to the, uh, I mean, uh, to the, inst uh, I mean, the co company, what will it be? Uh, to develop, to develop the company. To develop the company. Okay. So anyway, you have great ideas and God bless you. All the very best. Thank you. Thank we'll you. We'll have the next candidate. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, tell me something about yourself. My name is Pavitra and I am currently pursuing my B.Tech in Language mm -hmm. of Engineering and Technology. And I have completed my intermediate in Sri Chaitanya and Junior College. And I have done my schooling in Suresh School. It was located in Bharatipuram. And coming to my skills, uh, I have a bit more, I have knowledge on Python and I have a little bit experience in C programming, Java, database and operating system. Uh, coming to my strength, uh, if I want to learn something about new, I fought for it and uh, I learn about it in a perfect way. And I'm looking forward to get uh, 
uh, more intelligent and uh, so you will you are going to improve on your intelligence yes how uh, to gain more knowledge about what i was actually doing so that won't be your intelligence no that is you will improve on your skills and knowledge intelligence is already there in you yes so the util utilization of intelligence you will do yes okay so do you think listening is important and yes. why the employers focus so much on listening uh, yes ma'am uh, while listening we we have to uh, listen carefully and uh, focus on each and every every point by that uh, uh, if we uh, again give by speaking over you and uh, if we have to answer any bits or uh, anything else by speaking uh, by listening in a correct manner okay so thank you so much we'll have the next candidate thank you ma'am good afternoon ma'am good afternoon am i audible yes you are audible good afternoon ma'am this is shrikar from lady institute of engineering technology and uh, i'm in the branch of computer science and engineering uh, actually i am a student who is like i, I want to be different from everyone else and i i don't know how i got that but let me tell you about uh, tell you about myself and my schooling i completed my schooling in chimbadi godavari devi sharaf high school located in garavedi of vijayanagaram district andhra pradesh and after that i completed my intermediate from kendri vidyalaya vijayanagaram again and right from when i was a child my brother used to uh, get my interest by telling me about the stuff like networking cyber security and he used to explain me about the internet so in that way i gained interest about computers and learning about how they work and function so coming to my intermediate i again wanted to have computer science as my subject and i chose computer science as my subject in my intermediate also and after completing my intermediate i got a clear cut vision that yes computer the computer science is my thing and i chose the computer science engineering degree when i joined btech so this is how i landed up ended up here now and you answered few of the questions which i was asked just supposed to ask i thought so you answered beforehand so, <laughs> so most uh, the, so perhaps you are also in a hurry as i am uh, because <laughs> okay so uh, but the point is you know like uh, what do you how do you manage time what is your understanding about time management Yes, ma'am. Time management is uh, one of the very important aspects for anyone, especially for a student like me, because uh, I have uh, faced many situations where I wasn't able to manage time at all. So, uh, for example, I've lost some quizzes and I've lost some competitions because of my poor uh, time management skills. And I always wanted to improve the time management skills. And coming to my uh, future career also. Uh, i want to be a software developer and i think deadlines are one of the most important things to consider so yes time management is a very important aspect and i think i need to learn a lot regarding time management how about listening skills is listening skills an important skill yes ma'am yes ma'am listening skills are i think how? one of the most important because uh, only when we listen to others and only when we listen to what others say i think we can answer them correctly it enables us to uh, uh, capture the person's uh, attention if we listen to what the other person actually is saying and we try to understand it and if, uh, we can uh, then reply to that person according to what he or she speaks so listening skills are very important okay so how do you see yourself from 5 years from now Five years from now, uh, I think I I don't have a clear vision, but I have uh, like two types of uh, goals, ma'am. Uh, five years from now, I I would probably be a software engineer, uh, leading a happy life. But after five years in the long term, like uh, after ten years and all, I think uh, I have a vision to be, I have a goal to be an astronaut. I I am working hard for that, and after getting a job also, I think I would be uh, working hard to be an astronaut. But five years from now, I would see myself as a happy little. 
field developer, software developer. Yes, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. All the very best. Thank you so much. Happy afternoon, man. Happy afternoon. That's good. Why did you say happy afternoon? Ma'am, uh, I think uh, last month, uh, uh, daughter Nageshwar saw, came, ma'am. He told that uh, we should replace good with happy so that we can lead a happy life and will be, that will give a positive impression to the person. So I want to immediately. Very good. That means it shows that you are a quick learner as well. And Thank not you, only learning, but also you are applying it. Yes, ma'am. So that's very prospective. That's very good. I think uh, in software industry, it is very important skill, ma'am. Uh, learning, adapting to different, uh, adapting cha to different. Uh, changes. Yes, adaptability skills. So Absolutely. That we can, that's, so that yes, we can, yes, that's very important. So that we that can the survive. To adapt. Hmm. Yes. Correct. So do you, uh, do you know about the cultural shock? What, ma'am? Culture shock. Culture and shock. I don't know. I think I will learn somehow. <laughs> you will learn? Okay, so you learn about it. Basically, you know, sometimes we hold certain opinions about things and suddenly we feel that it is not so. Now you are feeling that in an organization you have to be more adaptable and maybe you are more adaptable, but the challenge might come that you have to have some other skills which is more important for you. So basically organizational culture, adaptability to the culture. So when you don't adapt or you don't understand the culture, sometimes it comes as a cultural shock. And similarly, when you go to different places, okay? So you meet people from different cultures and That's you are true. not able to accommodate with them. So that becomes a cultural shock for you. Thank you. Okay, so... <laughs> it's my pleasure to learn a new word today. Okay, that's good. Thank you for <laughs> having so much of inquisitiveness to learn. Right? So what do you do in your past time? Uh, I, I play Sudoku and solve some math puzzles. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. That's very good. I see a very bright future for you. All the very best. God Thank bless you, ma'am. God bless. We'll have the next candidate. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. Okay, so you know about cloud computing, isn't it? Yes. No, ma'am. So what is the most, uh, you know, uh, used example of cloud computing, which is in a layman's term, if you have to give an example for cloud computing, which is the example that you would give that everyone of us would know? Yes, ma'am. When I am digging the cloud computing, I never did. Uh, I never know about this, so I take an AI, ma'am. I am mainly focusing AI, ma'am. I am interested in AI at this moment. Yeah, I am asking you and give me an example of cloud computing. Cloud computing. It's um. Basically, I did not know, ma'am, about that cloud computing. But you are a computer science student. As well, You're expected I to think, know. I think cloud computing means it can access the data, store the data. Now. So, which data you store in your mobile phones? Is it not about cloud computing? As well. The uh, photographs. As well, photograph, that you image, store. Image recognition. Yes. yes. So, this is all about cloud computing, isn't as, it? As well. So, what is the change you find in the society with the digital media upcoming world? It can change the everyone life now. With the user for cloud computing, and, uh, and uh, in future there is there will be more uh, effectiveness in the cloud computing. Okay, thank you. So we'll have the next candidate. Okay. Thank you.
good afternoon so do you think that there is an effect of digital transformation yes ma'am uh, the effect in future all are going to digital devices so, so there may be effect on digital things ma'am so is it for good or bad is it uh, in some situations it is good ma'am but uh, many prefer it was not good anything so when we went for digital uh, you know demonetization and digital payment so is it a good thing is it it is uh, is it a good thing for the people to adapt to digital payment yes ma'am why because uh, where they will can be they can use the digital apps so quietly so they can easily transfer payment from their mobile phone but at the same time there are cyber crimes as well so how do we check with that there are uh, several uh, websites and uh, uh, in so many apps are developed to stop the cyber crimes so they have the security at the inbuilt for the apps of digital payments okay so thank you we'll have the next candidate please all the very best thank you ma'am Why did you start? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, Prabha, ma'am, we are done with that. Thank you oh, so thank much. Oh, thank you so much. Actually, you know, I have a meeting, so I just start. I, I, I know, ma'am. I know. Uh, okay. Can you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, are you ready to give the end instructions or? Uh, So yeah, five. I'll just yes, yes. I can give the end instructions. Sure. Okay, sure. within a minute or so, and I'll then sure. push off, right? Just give okay. me one minute, ma'am. I'll yeah, I'll sure, 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 sure. Okay. Uh, yes ma'am we are ready from our end and we are eagerly waiting for your uh, remarks oh that was uh, thank you very much and it was really wonderful to interact with these kids and uh, you know all of them have different kinds of uh, opinions so i was just you know i am a psychologist as well so i was just trying to map their minds on variety of questions which is quite different from the computer science uh, uh, you know ways so i found they're really enthusiastic and uh, the university is i mean your college is doing a lot to promote their skills so only one thing i wanted to tell you because you know this is a very common feature that whenever we are asked to introduce yourself we start telling about a background so which is not very important what is important is you know about the knowledge and skills that you have got because everything you cannot put it in your cv so the things which you have not put in your cv and you have to apply that there because that is the time when you are talking to your prospective employer about what skills and knowledge extra that you have beyond the cv because you already are qualified as a btech uh, engineer that is why you are sitting for the interview so they already know that you have pursued your btech from lendi university in computer science that's already there so what extra you will do and some of you were in a hurry that i am sitting and so the first question they will ask introduce yourself <laughs> so you started before i could ask so that is also a quite a negative thing because it shows your impatience so as i said i am never very serious with students because i always feel that in a friendly manner we tend to learn more rather than being very strict and hard which is uh, i don't prefer to be very strict but you know you have to make a regulation for yourself 
That is, how do I regulate my behavior? How do I re regulate myself? How much time I will spend? Because these days, a very pertinent question comes is, what do you do in your pastime? And so if you just say listening to music, watching TV, watching movies, or I play games, so everything is okay, but there has to be something substantial as to what do you really do, whether it is some sport that you go for, as one of the boys said, they're doing Sudoku. So there is something has some intellectual relevance as well. So, you know, you have to see apart from playing games, which is not bad, you can always do that, but have some intellectual, uh, you know, things which also is associated to your pastime. That is in your free time, that which you do. So rest of the things, your wonderful teachers, you have a wonderful uh, team uh, who is really working very hard. I can see the efforts. That is all of you are work, together working the students as well as because if the students interest is not there, they would never make it successful. So definitely credit goes to the students and of course the teachers and uh, uh, the organizers. So all of you are doing such a big effort. So I'm sure I look forward for a wonderful and a bright future for all of you. So all the very best. God bless you. Thank you so much. Namaste to all. Thank you so much, ma'am. Really, we are glad to have you today with us because we have been following your uh, interview questions that you are posing. So critical and thought provoking, especially it is needed for the relevant uh, time. Right? Yes, because you know, technical knowledge we already have. So it's something beyond that we need to know. Yes. And the students are also very smart enough because these days they are more exposed to things. So that itself adds to their qualities and wonderful teachers like you and others. So definitely they'll, they'll be doing wonderfully well. And uh, actually, I must once again congratulate all of you and a special congratulation to Hari Babu as well, who has taken this. And I, even I'm thinking for now that if I could do something for my students this way, because we do a lot of things, but not this is something very innovative that I find. And so maybe sometimes I do this way. <laughs> so I've done that in research. That is, you know, finding your research topic and certifying it from others. But of course, this kind of a thing I haven't done. Actually, we have a huge number of students. So that is one of the reasons we cannot do. Uh, but nevertheless, it was a pleasure being here. And thank you so much for having me as an examiner. So we'll look forward for other collaborations as well. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you, ma'am, and uh, uh, the same thanks note from my side also. We'll be looking forward for a lot of future endeavors, and uh, yes. I heard I heard that you can even uh, come down on training part two. I wanted you to be with us. Yeah, I'm a certified Government of India trainer yeah. for as a faculty development program and as well as, you know, a training for the trainers as well and training on, uh, you know, how to train people. That is a director of uh, training, and uh, I have also done uh, direct training skills. So I'm uh, certified, but yes, that comes later. So even if not coming on online platforms, uh, COVID has taught us many things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, in, in fact, uh, we are even in association with British Council. Uh, okay, yes. On, on that platform, yeah. we'll be conducting even FDPs. Uh, okay. At such places, we can definitely include your name. Absolutely, your, absolutely. absolutely. Yes, that's very good. So um, I'm very much uh, keen on uh, academics. So that is why I'm into it. So thank you so much. So, great of you. Great of you, ma'am. And hope uh, we'll end this uh, session. And yes. Maha, Maha ma'am, if you accept, we can yes, finish sir. it. Yes, yeah. we can end up, sir. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you much, much ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You.